Hey, my name is Glenn from Agile Equipment, here to talk to you today about the filters that go into our air scrubbers. Uh, with our air scrubbers, there are two filters that go into them. There's the pre-filter, um, there's one inside the unit here, or if we've got an example of another one there. And then we've got the primary filter behind it. Now the job of the pre-filter is to capture the larger debris in the air. And the job of the HEPA filter is to capture the finer particles that can get through. So this one will capture things down to about 10 micron and then the HEPA filter will capture dust down to 0.3 microns at a 99.97% efficiency. A question we get a lot is how often should you change your filters within your unit? With the pre-filter, uh, ideally you'd be changing them between each of your jobs. But if you have to extend the life of a pre-filter longer, you can do a visual inspection. If you see any uh, dust or dirt or debris, then you will definitely need to change that. Another test you could use as well is, although not entirely safe, is if you can smell something coming off the filter, then you definitely need to change it. The same can be said about uh, the HEPA in terms of a visual inspection. If you can see dust caught within that filter, if it's visibly dirty, then you will need to change it. But these filters do last longer than your pre-filters, but every case is different and you should use your own judgment. Next, we're gonna demonstrate how to change the filters on our units. First, I'll do the pre-filter. So first you need to open the latches here, as shown like this. Now this is the, the pre-filter. As you can see, there's these silver latches. So you'll just need to lift that up and lift like that and pull that out. Now ideally you'd be, if this was a dirty filter, you'd be putting this in a bag, taping it up and then uh, disposing of it correctly. I'm just gonna use this, this new one here. To put a new one in, you make sure that the wireframe of the unit is facing towards the, the pepper filter there. So you just want to slot, slot that in and lift this tab, get that in there. And you want to lift the tab on this side and just slot that down like that. And you can see that the tabs there are holding the, the pre-filter in place there. That's really important to ensure there's a seal between the pre-filter and the lid of the unit. To change the HEPA filter, you just pull it out like this. And again, make sure you're disposing of this properly, wearing the right PPE and putting that into a bag and disposing of it properly. And then once you grab your new one, make sure the foam is inside the unit like that and just slot it in like that. And that's installed there. And all you need to do is just close it up and latch it up again. Here at Agile Equipment, we consider ourselves a one-stop shop for the restoration industry. So we sell uh, dehumidifiers and, and air movers. We sell containment and PPE, tape, anything that you would need to get your restoration job done. If you wanna check out our Brisbane showroom, we're just located in Murray, just south of the Gateway Bridge. Thanks for watching.